Welcome to Model Horse Tax School. My name is Carrie, and today, not a lot of talking, but a lot of work here. I am going to uh, clean, restore, repair, and modify a saddle that I made for one model to fit Pepto Boone's Mall because this is one of the classes I think he'd do well in, and it's a parade saddle. So the first thing I need to do is clean it. And then I'll need to redo the uh, silver protect or the clear protective coating. Um, and then I'll have to modify it so that it fits him. He's a little bit smaller than the model I made this for. So um, what I'm doing is a Q-tip. I've got some 3% um, hydrogen peroxide. Um, it's just the cheap stuff, right? And uh, just put that in the lid. And I'm just going to... Uh, just in circles try and get rid of the surface residue and uh, any of the little black spots that I've seen on this so I'll be doing that um, and uh, I have to do the whole thing I've already done the drape and the um, rump slats I don't know what they're called but they're those nice pieces that go over the back end. Um, so I've already done these. There we go. I've already done those. I still have to put the clear coat on them, but they're cleaned. Um, the drape also has been cleaned. And then um, I also uh, did a good cleaning dusting on the saddle pad. And uh, if you notice, these are those little um, flushable wipes uh, boxes. And for certain um, saddles, like, like this... Uh, this one here, it's pewter foil, and um, I don't like it to get squashed. So if I put it in here, then I can stack it in with other saddles, and it protects it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get to cleaning. As you see, I've already taken off quite a bit of surface dirt. And uh, I'll do this on fast forward with some music, um, just so that uh, you can see a little bit of it. <laughs> too big and it's where the buckles are located I can't make it any smaller so I'm going to take this buckle apart so I can tighten it up just just a little bit like that lay that over and try and keep this so that I don't so if I have to adjust it again I can hopefully it won't but when you move from one model to another sometimes you have to make adjustments I already um, so this is adjustable based on this. So I went ahead and put some loops in there. So I've already shortened up the face piece. And 
and uh, yeah, pretty much think that might be okay and ready to um, get a final shiny coat on it. And if you've ever worked with hydrogen peroxide before, this can happen to your fingers from contact with it. It's not too bad. I only got it on there. But that's, that's normal. That's just actually skin being killed off. Upper layer of skin. And uh, you got plenty of that. When I first made this saddle, I used a water-based um, super sheen um, on the silver parts. And that's what the hydrogen peroxide was helping me uh, get rid of. I needed to scrape that off because it was uh, it was not doing its job anymore. So I'm going to try using a clear coat nail polish enamel and uh, see if um, see if that get me the shine that I want. Um, and it'll for last longer. I, d I don't know, but that's what I'm going to do uh, next. <laughs> used up a whole bottle um, it was the cheap or inexpensive I guess um, I think wet and wild has a nice inexpensive um, 99 cent uh, bottle <clears throat> so that pretty much used the whole thing I'm gonna let it dry really well okay so I'm working on fitting now and I'm going to shorten up these buckles because it needs to be a little bit tighter I just want to make sure I can so and these are the sides to the breast collar. And that's a sliding keeper. Wow. Okay. This has been in this position for so long. <laughs> gel because I think I have more control so this one's really bad you can see that I think you can see that so we're gonna like that You can see that one has come off too. A lot of it is just from the saddle moving. And it's old. I mean, it's not one of my newer saddles. It's actually one that's got, it's been to shows, it's gotten ribbons. So, and it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work, 
but it's one of my favorites. The pattern is actually in my silver treatments for Western saddles. Um, this is the saddle pattern from that. This is not my new one, so it doesn't have adjustable stirrups, but this is, um, this is that saddle pattern. And it has this uh, to put onto pewter and then you um, emboss. And I might show that later on. Um, now I did change it because there shouldn't really be any silver where a person's butt is. Uh, neither the butt, the leg, the thigh, all the way down. So there should be an open path there. I think, and just roll that one flat. I don't think I need to redo that. But I know this one, this one's coming off, so. I know different people use different glues for this. Um, this, uh, the super glue, which, you know, it's not just super glue anymore. Everybody's got the formula now, um, and that's why the Loctite, the Gorilla Glue gel um, seems to work pretty well for me for, you know, major silver like this, um, but I still use white glue a lot for putting the silver on, so um, I just started with that uh, super glue, and so I'm just going to stick with that. All right. Now, I think that was it was just those three places. Yeah, see that one looks pretty good. Nothing seems to be coming up. So, that's good. All right, so now I have to look and see if there's any other places where, like this here, I might have to deal with the bubbling paint right here. So basically, in the olden days, I did everything I could to reuse my paints or reuse my leather. So I didn't have any scrap. And so I do things like, well, I dyed it, but it didn't dye really well. And so I'm just going to paint it. And I did. But now I got paint bubbles. Look at that. See, that's a bad thing. So I'm going to have to repaint that. But I think I want to peel it off first.
dry. Okay, so in about the time it took for me to clean up the paint mess, this is dry. And flat, it's really easy to tell when it's dry. So now I'm going to use, um, this is Super Sheen. I get this at Candy, um, Candy Leather Factory. And uh, it's also what I had used before on the silver that just didn't hold up well on the silver over time. And now we let that dry. I usually give chemicals like this a dedicated brush. I mean, not paint, but the sheens, the oils, I give them a dedicated brush. And then, um, and I take a rubber band, which I know I have around here, and I'll put it around here and then like this. And it's not a permanent solution because the rubber ends go bad after a while, but then I can just like that. But that's how we, um, that's how I clean and uh, do um, conservation and, um, and fitting uh, for a saddle made for one horse and readjusting it for another. Hope you enjoyed learning something about conservation on your saddles today. I appreciate your time and you have yourself a really good day. Mm -hmm.